Who hasn't been sick with a cold? Maybe you have the common cold right now, or a family member has symptoms and you're worried. My name is Dr. McGinty. Let me share with you key points about this infection to inform you about the causes, symptoms, and treatments. To start this video, what's its cause? Or in other words, how do we get the common cold? A cold is caused by a virus that causes inflammation of the membranes that lie in the nose and throat. Did you know that contrary to popular belief, common colds are not caused by cold weather or getting wet? They are caused by any one of several viruses causing the common cold. It's often spread through airborne droplets that are coughed or sneezed into the air by the sick person. The droplets are then inhaled by another person. Yes, it is known that people are most likely to have colds during the fall and winter, but this increased incidence of colds during the cold season may only be attributed to the fact that more people are indoors and close to each other. In addition, in cold, dry weather, the nasal passages become drier and more vulnerable to infection. Everyone is at risk for the common cold, and it is very easily spread to others. In fact, the average child will have between six to 10 colds a year, and the average adult will get two to four in the same period. Children suffer more colds each year than adults due to their immature immune systems and to the close physical contact with other children at school or daycare. This explains why the common cold leads to more healthcare provider visits and absences from school and work than any other illness each year. Could you list down the common cold symptoms? I'm sure you can easily name a few. And now, can you make the difference between cold symptoms and flu symptoms? Maybe that's a little trickier. Let me show you. You should know that a cold usually starts two to three days after the virus enters the body, and symptoms last from several days to several weeks. Common cold symptoms may include stuffy, runny nose, scratchy, tickly throat, sneezing, watering eyes, low-grade fever, sore throat, mild hacking cough, achy muscles and bones, headache, mild fatigue, chills, watery discharge from the nose that thickens and turns yellow or green. It's important to note that a cold in the flu or influenza are two different illnesses. Because a cold is relatively harmless and usually clears up by itself, although sometimes it can lead to a secondary infection, like an ear infection. However, the flu can lead to complications like pneumonia and even death. What may seem like a cold could be the flu. Be aware of these differences. Now that you've understood the causes and symptoms, how is the common cold treated? Currently, there is no medicine available to cure or shorten the duration of the common cold. However, the following are some treatments that may help relieve some symptoms of the cold. Over-the-counter cold medicines, such as decongestants and cough medicine. Over-the-counter antihistamines, which is medicine that helps dry up the nasal secretions and suppress cough. Rest, yes, it's time to take that beauty sleep. Increased fluid intake, drink, drink, and drink. Healthy liquids will help. Pain relievers for headache or fever like Tylenol or Advil will help with body aches or pain. Side note, do not give aspirin to a child who has a fever, as it could lead to a dangerous illness. Warm saltwater gargling for sore throat, petroleum jelly for chapped raw skin around the nose and lips, and warm steam for congestion. A pharmacist is best placed to recommend a medication and give advice in this situation. Now the question that you might have in mind is, do I need to contact my healthcare provider? If you are to remember one message from this video, it's that if you have these symptoms, know that you are going to get better. Because colds are caused by viruses, treatment with antibiotics won't work. So the answer is no, you do not need to see a doctor when you have a common cold. It's recommended that you stay home and rest, drink plenty of fluids, take symptomatic medications from the pharmacy, and follow other healthcare recommendations. It usually takes within five to seven days before your symptoms are fully resolved. That said, if you feel like you've tried every treatment possible to relieve your common cold and your symptoms are only getting worse, or you have new symptoms, then you need to let your healthcare provider know. If your symptoms don't improve within a few days, you could have another type of infection. And if ever you have symptoms that become severe, for instance, if you cannot breathe or have high fever with confusion or lethargy, seek immediate medical attention. After talking about how to deal with this infection, maybe you'd like to know how the common cold can be prevented. Know that the best way to avoid catching a cold is to wash your hands often and avoid close contact with people who have colds. When around people with a cold, do not touch your nose or eyes because your hands may become contaminated with the virus. Although mostly everyone gets it and it doesn't kill their host, the common cold remains an infection with many undesirable symptoms. If you have a cold, cough and sneeze into a facial tissue and dispose of the tissue promptly, then wash your hands right away. Clean surfaces with disinfectants that can kill viruses to halt the spread of the common cold. Research has shown that rhinovirus may survive up to three hours outside of the nasal lining. Want more info? If you still have questions or concerns after watching this video, 
I invite you to reach out to your local healthcare provider in order to get more information. Remember that the best prevention for the common cold is frequent hand washing and avoiding close contact with people who have colds. Even though cold symptoms may be similar to certain bacterial infections, allergies, and other medical conditions, always consult your healthcare provider for a diagnosis if your symptoms are severe. I hope that you found this video educational and that it will guide you through the cold season. Visit our channel to watch more videos on health topics with our health and medical experts.